What's up guys, welcome back to Race Spec and today we have a very special video. We are gonna go check out our friend Onish's Supra launch edition that just came out. Only one here in Southern, well, Southern Orange County, I should say. So we're gonna hop in RF with the brand new wheels and see what this car is all about. Kind of excited actually. A lot of people say it's a Z4, but hey, it's a Toyota. I got a Lexus, Let's see how it is. <music> somehow yeah. apparently they're super hard to get man so walk in a little bit he's got this amazing oldsmobile 442 i think gr launch edition i've actually never seen one in person and i drive literally everywhere man <laughs> I don't, it's, it's kind of amazing how do you like the new wheels on the car man it looks badass dude i, I can't I, even say the words on I had some serious, I had some serious doubts of how it would look, but I'm happy. I love these wheels. <laughs> First time seeing a Supra, huh? Oh, I love that new car smell. Check it out. This interior is sick. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab the keys. All right, sounds good. As you can see, this man loves speed. No, no, you got it. I'm gonna let you start it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, sick. Actually, you wanna start it so we can get a cold start? Uh, yeah, it's not cold, but hey. Well, cold ish. <laughs> Sounds really good. All right, I will move my car out of the way. I've been staring at this car for about five, 10 minutes now. And honestly, I didn't think it's gonna look this good. Um, I was kind of one of the super haters, not because it's essentially, you know, a Z4 motor and chassis, but just because it didn't look anything like, um, like what it did on the, you know, like the pictures, like the renders. Yeah, but the dude's car does not look good in pictures. I'll give it that, that's for sure true. And that's actually true with the RCF also, dude. It just doesn't look good in pictures. It doesn't look good at all, dude. No. You know how many people I've, I've like, like seeing they're like dude bro like i think your car's gonna look this good i can person it way better than instagram same with that car dude they got a lot of haters that because it's made by bmw and it's a bmw motor people are oh, just a fucking bmw you know? well but who, who cares dude what motor does toyota make that's gonna make a lot of power on that car none, none. And it's a single turbo so where the hell are you gonna get a single turbo car from no you're not you're not going to man like i mean with bmw you can do boot mod three some downpipes make an extra hundred a wheel as I know these are making like 560 wheels with some bolt-ons. Shaw's shop's making, I think Shaw's shop's making, what, 500 wheels? Five wheel? Five wheel. That's a and lot. Just, just the tune and the downpipe? Yeah, man. I mean, I don't have a problem with it being a BMW, basically. Like, I get it if you're a Toyota purist, but you got to think, man. Like, what does Toyota have that they can put in this? Like, they're not going to put a 20-year-old 2JZ motor in this. No. You know, like, that's not, that's not going to happen. So, I mean, it is kind of... I mean, it's kind of bummed. They could have put a manual in it, though, because BMW has manuals. Um, 
But yeah, man, this car, all the pictures don't do it just, just this, and I'm going to guess it's going to drive a lot better than expected to. But it's a beautiful car in person. What's the MSRP on this, like 57? Nope. 57K? Yeah. And all dealers are asking like 20, 30 grand over a sticker for the GR, right? Yeah, I have the sticker. I'll show you the sticker. Oh, Jesus, man. Yeah, well, we'll see if it's worth the money. Um, honestly, on exclusivity alone, I'm going to say it probably is because you really don't see these cars. A lot of people are going to say, oh, you should have gotten the C8. Well, guess what? You're going to see C8s on every street corner, not this car. Just like that one. You don't see that much. But cool, cool. Nice. <laughs> Sick. Move. Right, so we are now on the move and I'll just give it like a ba baby baby. Is, oh, it's not the same motor as the M4, is it? Similar. Similar, yeah. And we already heard pops, so typical BM Supra. <laughs> Sick. So we got the carbon fiber on the center console. I really like that. Um, I didn't even know there was only 1500 launch editions made. That's pretty cool. 237 is a good number, I feel like. Also a carbon fiber and it's signed by the big boss over at Toyota, which is super sick. And the interior is nice, man. Thank God BMW did this because Toyota would have totally messed this up, dude. Just look at the RCF. This would have all been plastic. Pretty much. Yeah. So guys, if you, if you don't know anything about my friend Donna, she goes through cars faster than most people go through changes of clothes. He's had like 10,000 Mustangs, like Toyota Tacomas, all this jazz. I've got to say, man, you say you're not going to sell this car ever. Do you mean that? Or is this just you being you? This is on video. I'm not selling this one, nor am I selling my 442. So, so both cars you just saw, he's supposedly not selling. Yeah. So what's your reasoning for never selling this one? Super. For the one you want, one you want 160k for the 94? Yeah. Jesus, man. So I won't be able to get that. So childhood dream is what this is. Yeah, so Anish is childhood dream car. He just got it. Say congratulations in the comments. Um, it's a little weird filming on the iPhone because I'm used to using my DSLR. Because the camera's not in the middle, it's on the side, right? It's all good. Yeah, but like it broke, dude. I don't get it. But yeah, uh, Anish not selling the car. Um, good car not to sell because there's 1,500 of them. He doesn't drive too much. So only time will tell if he sells it or not. If he does, you guys will be the first ones to know. <laughs> Plug to my work. If you want to see the car, it's at Beach Auto Sound. Beach Auto Sound, Huntington Beach. If you want to see it, he'll have it just chilling there. Um, obviously, like no Joe Rise, none of that. But you can check it out. And yeah, so we're going to... Where are we going? I don't know. We're going to go for a little cruise on PCH. Going to go for a little cruise. That'll be cool. So right here we're looking at my Supra Adventures. They're asking $109,000 for the same exact car at Claremont Toyota. Insane. So as you guys just saw, we were driving and honestly, she's like, oh dude, uh, this San Clemente you said? San, San, whatever that is. Claremont. He's like, dude, for this exact same car, they want $109,000. I was like, there's no way. We have to tell our subscribers about that. What do you what do you think about that price point? Would you rather buy a Ferrari 430 or this? I'd say Ferrari 430. Or that that could actually get you almost a Gen 2 R8. They're going for like 125 right now. I'd rather just get the Ferrari. I mean, you own this car and you wouldn't pay that, obviously, right? No. Yeah, no, dude. A hundred and I, we're technically driving a hundred thousand dollar car in a way. Yeah. Maybe that's why there's none on the road because these dealers are trying to get two times what the MSRP is. Like, come on, dude. Like, there's gouging, but. Someone pays it, cool, I guess, but... Hey, man, if you got the money, do it, but don't be stupid. I don't know, man. You're probably pretty stupid if you pay that much, but hey, only 1500 made, right? <laughs> Buddy Joe, he's like, yo, long time no see. Think that Snapchat. It's kind of attention you get everywhere. 
at home. Yeah, dude, on the way here, man, like every car we were passing by is just like, yo, like they were just breaking their necks. It was insane. Oh, we, we literally found another one of our friends just rolled up in his F-Type. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude, it's like a reunion out here, man. Hey, he's with us. I was talking so who are we to say no? Right? Alright, I hit sport. I said it in launch control mode like an idiot. That sounds really good. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess you can film a little bit. Good. It sounds really good. He'll keep up. And he's much lighter than me, so like, he's definitely gonna keep up. Yeah, the FBA, yeah. What do you guys think? It's, it's fucking nice. Well guys, we just got some coffee in us. We were very, very, coffee. well, he didn't need coffee. I, it was just me, but as always, I messed up I forgot to film it. It was just such a cute cashier, man, but uh, nice lady. We might have that to come. That did better, but eh, whatever suits your foot. Oh, well, yeah, but one of them was down, the other one was But anyways, <laughs> we are, we're back at the Supra, you know, here at Crystal Cove, just hanging out. Uh, I, I, I'll, I'll film that for you guys next time, the whole. And shout out to that blonde girl. If she she probably would not watch this video. Actually, one of the girls at Starbucks, she was like super into cars and she was talking to us about it. And of course we got a little we got a little hoorah con action back there. iPhones don't let you zoom while you're I guess filming, so there's that. But now I'm gonna drive the Supra. Honest is gonna film me driving it, so that'll that'll be fun. Alright guys, we're here in the Supra now. Uh, so I just turned it on, adjusted the seat. The steering wheel is very, very nice. I like the paddle shifters too. Of course, we got to put the car in sport. It gets a little louder when you press the sports button. That's very nice, but the car does only have 275 miles, which out of respect for our friend Anish, we can't really beat on it too much, but like we will do whatever we can and according to the break-in book, I guess, because he is not planning on selling this car. So no ratchet stuff as of yet, but I'll let you guys know what I think about the car with what we can do. And then uh, obviously there will be more videos when we're broken in. So enjoy this. I know I will, and we'll go from there. If you want to go camping and kiss the code, go ahead. Crystal code. Lambos. Gonna film it. Yeah, just film it because speedo. Because we're not gonna have speed, obviously. It's just like fire stop here. All right, guys. Some little pulls to 4,000 RPM. Which is really good for just 4,000 RPM, man. Oh, it's a downshift, though. This car pulls really good, man. Yeah, it does. And that's just like... That's only 4,000. Yeah, because we're breaking the car in right now, so... We'll let this Macon go, but... And it sounds amazing, dude. It sounds really good. It might be too loud with the downpipe. What do you guys think? Maybe okay. Do you think so? This is just like half throttle. And it tells you the speed limit right there too, which is really sick. This car handles well too. It's a very well-built car. Thanks to BMW, because it actually makes things nice and tight. The Toyota builds good cars, but they don't do this, so... I'm actually glad that they partnered, <laughs> for one. Sick. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. We're gonna 
pick up the F and we're gonna meet up with our buddy Neil with his ZR1 and uh, eat some Mexican food, man. All right, so we're here back at the spot. As you can see, the RCF is there, 442 is there, but let's talk about the Supra. Obviously, minimal driving, minimal bull, whatever, right? So, I love this car, to be quite honest with you. Um, it's an amazing, amazing car. It drives like a BMW, which is good, in my opinion, because I've driven the FRSs. Uh, the, R the RCF, it drives well, but it doesn't feel as tight, because obviously M4s are better. Good job, BMW. Good job, Toyota. And this car just breaks insane amounts of neck, so let's go ahead and take a look at the car. So yeah, this car breaks insane amounts of necks. Um, it's a, honestly, like, pictures don't do it justice. Videos do a lot more, obviously, for the car, but... So he's gonna look at getting wheels. Right now he's talking to Vossen, trying to see if HRA will hook him up, if they're being difficult. I'll talk to my guys, see what we can do, but... I like these stock wheels. I don't hate them or anything, but... You know, we'll see what kind of wheels we'll get on this car. It's gonna be a part of the channel, Onish is a good friend. Which is nice, because I was thinking about buying one for myself but I don't want to spend that kind of money right now. And if I can just have a launch edition that I can use, that's amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and pop the hood. I haven't seen it under the hood yet, but I hope you guys like this video. Uh, the car's not broken in yet. And like I said, I don't want to be disrespectful and be on this car when it isn't broken in, but that just means more videos. When it's broken in, we're going to do some proper pulls, maybe a little bit of racing, take it to shift sector. And we're going to get some free tires once we get wheels and we'll do some burnouts on that. So, as always, support the channel, like, comment, subscribe.